Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be starting off straight away by jumping into the local downtrends that we are seeing here on the Bitcoin chart and what this means for the short trade that I've been talking to you about over the past few days. How this really now has the potential for a very nice swing short trade position for much lower prices to come on the Bitcoin chart. This video, I'm gonna keep professional, to the point, concise, giving you all the information that you need to know to make these informed decisions when it comes to trading the charts. I'll be explaining the thought process, why I am not longing currently at this price, and why I would like lower prices, even more lower prices, to come. Okay, so I'm making sure that you fully understand this as we start off the video. Okay, so as always, the way that I work these videos are showing you the technical analysis, letting you understand my levels, and then explaining what levels I'm looking for next. Again, here we are on Friday, so I'll be giving the levels that I'm looking at over the weekend to the start of next week to come. We'll be giving all of that information, what I'm looking for uh, next in this video. So let's start off by reminding ourselves how we exactly got to this position in the chart, and why that we need to add on our technical analysis. Always will say this, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not using technical analysis, you are gambling. The only way to go from a gambler's mindset when it comes to the markets to a professional trader's mindset is by doing the technical analysis and mastering the psychology. So let's add on the technical analysis here. And now we suddenly have this chart come to life. We have very good levels to be aware of where we get high probability trading setups. And so as mentioned, over the past few days, well, the whole of this week, really, I've been talking about the short trade that I was in from $24,000 and how, how this is actually coming down very nicely. Just want to pull this one-to-one -one extension. As you can see, currently hit that one-to-one -one extension with a confluence of Fibonacci from low to high into the CC. So we've come down into a nice little local support, right? Uh, with these extensions, with these Fibonacci retracements coming up into this chart around 21,000, uh, let's just say 21,700 average price of support currently. We can understand why we're getting this little bit of a bounce here. Okay, but as mentioned, I'm still in my short trade from $24,000. I'll just really briefly, two minutes, give you a quick reminder of why I took that short. I've already explained this, but I want to remind you, yeah, I think repetition is good to integrate the theory into your brain. So it all started back on the start of the month, end of last month, where I was pointing out to you all, or especially the champions, but later obviously for free on YouTube, of how I was looking for the ES to rise to 4,200 and how that would bring the DXY below 101.297 and how that should bring Bitcoin to $24,000 and that if we hit the 4,200 on the stock market, we see the DXY dropping below this support and how Bitcoin above $24,000 would be a very good short opportunity. Okay, so on Bitcoin, I was remaining patient for one of my levels to be hit. And that, of course, above us was the $24,000. The lower level was the daily. And as we all know how this went, it hit the lower daily and it pumped then to $24,000. That was, for me, the short trade hit on Bitcoin. That was my opportunity. And as mentioned, I wanted to see $24,000 hit on Bitcoin while we're hitting resistance of 4,200 on the stock market and support of 101.297 on the DXY. So that's what I was looking for. Wanted to see a, more of a drop on the DXY. We got more of a drop on the DXY before a reversal. The reversal here is bearish for Bitcoin and bearish for the stock market. And I wanted to see the stock market rise to 4,200. And of course, that rose to 4,200. So then I had the confluences that I want for an amazingly good short opportunity of 4,200 on the stock market. DXY dropping to support and Bitcoin to $24,000. It lined up on a plate very good opportunity. And for me, that was the confidence played off, the patience paid off, and $24,000 short target hit on Bitcoin. Original short from $24,000. Then we formed the very perfect retest. On this retest of the high of $24,000, we had massive bearish CVD divergences. We had millions upon millions upon millions of trapped longs coming in here. Big open interest, big volume, big positive delta. Longs going absolutely crazy into that high of resistance. I guess they were not aware of the stock market hitting our target zone. They were not aware of the DXY hitting the support zone. That lined up for the golden triangle of opportunity, DXY to support, 
stock market to resistance, Bitcoin to resistance, all came together for that very good short opportunity. The correlation was strong and the survey D divergences played out perfectly when the, all those markets came together as we wanted to see, you know, a few days prior to that. That's what we call planning a trade. That's what we call, call executing a trade. And that's how we take full advantage from 24K down to current prices right now. Okay, so I've talked you through that briefly. Of course, we were looking for a failed auction or a swing photo pattern. So far, there's been none of that. And it was a move straight to the downside. Starting to bring you up now, after I've sped you up to speed of what's going on here, exactly what we can be looking for next. Of course, as mentioned yesterday, we were looking potentially for a failed auction or a swing failure pattern. Let me tell you this, as soon as this came to light, as soon as I'm having my alerts going off, the first thing that I do is I go over to my champions group and I alert them of what I'm seeing and what I'm looking for live in the time action. And yesterday I alerted to my team exactly what I was looking at in the action. And this was the post that I'm just gonna to read to you from yesterday. As I explained to you all in the morning live stream update, this was a, a champions only live stream update, by the way, but nevertheless, during that live stream, I was explaining to my team why I would not long the CC, why I think that would be a bad long and why I wanted to see it break to lower. And my target was still below 22,800. So I was still bearish, I was still short, and I still wanted to see lower prices to be hit. This was an update that I gave to my team yesterday. And then actually moments later, we see the breakdown below 22,800. As soon as we're breaking below 22,280, sorry, 22,280, as we break down below that, I tell my team I'm not taking profits on my short here, I am not opening long here, and I wanna see even more lower prices to come. Okay, after that post, well, we saw that we still continue to see lower prices. I wanted to just alert my team. I've not longed here. I've not closed any of my short because there was no swing failure pattern. So for me, this was a very must needed update in the time to explain why I had, uh, basically why I was still uh, holding on to that short, even though we hit below 22, 280. And that was because there was no swing failure pattern or no failed auction as of yet. Okay. And so that's how I'm still in this short trade from 21,800, okay? Um, so now we've talked you through fully everything on this side of the chart. Now we can start to look at what's happening next and what we can be looking at once again over the weekend to the start of next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? You know, these levels could could be for the whole of February. Uh, we can see the speed of this move. Of course, I've explained currently what we are finding support of at the moment, which is the CC and that one-to-one -one extension, right? It's a very similar situation on the ES, uh, also coming down to a one-to-one -one extension. Okay, so I wanna zoom in here a little bit locally and give you my thought process here. Um, there's one thing that I'd like to do, and that's just a, a quick, uh, I suppose, walk through an announcement for a few minutes, and then we'll move on to what I'm looking at next. And the first, well, the announcement, not so much of an announcement, but also just like a, a pep talk, so to speak, a pep talk from your captain. <laughs> um, and that is a mentality in trading, okay? And this is just generally speaking, I don't wanna pinpoint any one person or anything like that, okay? This is just generally speaking, Okay, that, you know, I want to just emphasize this comment by, um, by, 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 you know him as rivalry, right? And it's this, leave negativity out of your space. I'm quite surprised you and this other group are still obsessing over this topic. We only look forward to here in CC. You're in the past, you know, you've got to focus on positivity, right? And so what I'm saying here is, you know, poor people are going to focus on slander and never negativity to bring people down. Champions going to ignore the lies, ignore the drama, focus on the charts and educational trading, right? So let's keep building, building, building and continue leading this space, okay? And what I want to just emphasize here is your mentality in trading is everything. As I said towards the start of this video, trading is all about your technical analysis and your trading psychology and your emotions. If you're an emotional person, if you cannot, you know, focus on the chart and stay connected to that and you're worrying about left, right and Z factors that you have no control over, I truly believe that you're not going to be successfully trading and making money, okay? There's a reason why myself and the other coaches, we're able to extract millions of dollars from this market, and it's because we've got pinpoint accuracy on our technical analysis. We're very much non-emotional when it comes to the charts. We trade like robots, and we just trust our technical analysis, and we execute, execute, execute. When the trade's given to us, you're not gonna see us scared. You're not gonna see us hesitating. You're not gonna see us talking about other people. No, we're talking about the charts. We're focused on what we do, and that is how we crush the charts, right? So it's like I say here, 
you know, this got replied to me, you know, a lot of previous people still talking about us. I mean, this is ages ago. They're still talking about us, right? I say, honestly, I pay zero attention to them, uh, other other groups. And I know they're all obsessed with us because all they do is talk about us. But uh, I know that they love to talk bad about chart champions as that is their only way to try and get members. Their revenue and business is built by trying to hate on chart champions. I just honestly have to laugh. <laughs> Much love to everybody. I send my love to everybody, uh, even the people that you know, left the group from a year ago that still <laughs> follow everything we do and still obsessed about chart champions. There's obviously a real reason for that. Well, I, I can I can see it clearly, you know, revenue and business is built on trying to uh, attract people to hate on us as well as, you know, it's kind of obvious. Yeah, I, I, I'll leave that topic for now. You, if you can open your eyes truly, it's kind of obvious. But yeah, for me, this is just a whole kind of a laughing joke <laughs> that, yeah, really, you just got to focus on the charts, focus on what you can control. And it's like we say here, let's just keep building, building and building, right? And so, yeah, surprised to see other trading groups focused on something that doesn't even concern them. To me, yes, I agree. It shows weakness. And I am glad that Chart Champions rises above it, shows class and professionalism. He is in the right place. And yeah, for me, this is very important factor, but I just want to speak in a general sense of focus on the charts, focus on the analysis, okay, lose that emotional type of, bi type of biases. Our aim and goal is to change you from an analysis to a trader, okay, we really want you to be understanding live trading, seeing price in the action, seeing how we're viewing the markets live in the time, seeing how we're able to then use that to form trading decisions, entries, execution, stop loss and targets, all in the time as it's happening, okay, and obviously to do that, we've brought in two of the best coaches that we've seen over recent years, in Severin and Rivalry. And I will say this very briefly, shout out to Rivalry. This is awesome. But here we go, his eighth trading account uh, and he fi finished his certificate uh, of, uh, of, of funding. So he has a fully funded account, $150,000 account. Of course, this, you know, the only way you can do this is by um, actually real live trading and showing results, right? But he's got his funding. And I just wanted to give him a shout out to that because that's a very good thing. And it's like he says here, there is a big difference between being an analyst and a trader. Anyone can draw lines and get it right. You know, what we're doing here at Chart Champion now is we're going to be doing moving into the realm of live trading showing you that there is a difference between analysis and trading we'll get you up to the level you want to be at of executing 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 taking the trades mastering your psychology and crushing the charts we now have four amazing traders who can all live trade and can who who, ah, who can all back up their results Igor can do it I can do it Severin can do it and rivalry can do it that's the future that we want to show you at Chart Champions. And I know, I know, I know we are going to get you to the next level. We are building, building, building stronger than ever. And I'm very much excited for what we are going to be giving to you over the coming years, right? This is not ending. We're only just getting started. CC Paul Desco. So that's my little bit of a motivational speech getting you on topic. And now I want to talk you through what I'm looking at next. So as I mentioned, still in my short from $24,000. I have two shorts open, one from 24,000, well, three shorts actually. $24,000 compounded it on the retest. My first initial short from $24,000 was very small. Uh, I compounded it much larger on the retest. And then I went into head shorts on my Bitcoin uh, positions at around 23,300. And I will say this, like, obviously, when I'm taking these initial positions, I don't have like full, full confidence. I'm, I'm understanding we're in an uptrend. I'm understanding there's a high probability of getting stopped out. But I still take those trades. I still execute and I still follow my plan. I wanted to see Bitcoin to 24K when ES is hitting 4,200, when DXY is hitting support. I see that come together. I take that trade. I execute. Even though I feel there's a high probability of getting stopped out, I don't have high confidence in that trade setup. But I still take it. Now my confidence has grown as we've broken support and we're coming down here. So obviously the bigger levels below us would be this zone all around from 21,200, so slight front run of the NPSC, but from 21,200 all the way down to $20,000 psychological. Again, it's a very big zone. We have a few levels here. This is for me a level of reaction. Patience must be taken. We would want to see as we're coming down here, flop over, flop over, flip over to the order flow, okay? So we'll take a look at what's going on here in terms of the order flow, in terms of our higher levels, and in terms of our scope trades, right? It will be taken from a lower term time frame trade entry. So what we're going to be looking at as we approach that big zone, once again, from 20 
1,200, 220,000 psychological. We're going to have to flip over to the order flow and then make some informed decisions of what's going on here live in the time, okay? We're going to be looking at the order flow, we're going to be looking at those orders, and we'll be looking at the strength visually, okay? I can also visually do this without the order flow, but the order flow is, of course, for me personally, a big advantage. So I'll be looking at that as we approach these levels. Of course, I'm aware today we're at the CC, we're at the one-to-one -one extension, we do have a CCV setup. Okay, so I'm aware of these factors, but until we change this local market structure, it's currently still lower highs, lower lows, okay, until we start to get reclaims, still we get to see a sign of strength, I'm going to still look for those lower prices. Of course, I'm aware of the invalidations. If we start to get reclaims, we do have things such as CCV set up today, right? So I'm aware of those things, but I'm currently not trading off of that. I'm currently staying in my short and not long tier currently, right? But I'm aware of what can be required to get into a long and so is shine of strength. Okay, and that is how a professional truly approaches the markets. It does require patience. It does require, well, I think that's a very key, key skill for patience, right? You need to be patient for your setups. You then, when you get the setup, you need to check the order flow, check the reaction, and then execute, take the trade. It's as then simple as that. Once you're in the trade, set the stop loss. Yes, it's fine to take a loss. Trust me, myself and the other coaches, although we're, do although we're doing very well, we're, we're moving millions of dollars, but that doesn't matter. We can still take losses, right? Losses are part of the game. You've got to accept them. They're, they're normal. You're going to take losses. We're all going to take losses. The thing we need to focus on is execution, taking the trades, and of course, at the end of the day, winning more trades than we lose. But with good risk management, we could even be at 30, 40% win rates. But if every win is $4 and every loss is $1, well, even with a 30% win rate, we're still making more money than we're losing. Okay, so it's all about risk management. It's all about being patient for those high probability trade setups. And it's all about mastering the psychology and executing, taking the trades, not being an analysis, not being, you know, par pan what's the word I'm looking for? Pan <laughs> analysis paralysis, you know, getting confused, overanalyzing. No, it's being that trading mindset. Set in here, take the trade, win or lose, move on to the next one. It's a business. We want to approach this as a business. Trading is very serious. We're here to make money at the end of the day. We're not here to play games, school ground, you know, talk about other people. No, if you want that, you know, there's plenty of other groups who will spend all day talking about others. We're here to focus on the charts. We're here to make money and we're here to show you the results and show you what's possible, right? Um, so for me, that was my rundown. I'd done a live stream last night, which I, a lot of people really enjoyed, by the way. So you can get that over on Twitch. Okay, so you can check it out on Twitch, or you can also check it out on the CC Pool YouTube channel. You will have to click on videos, I oh, know, on live, because it was a live stream, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can check that one out from 13 hours ago. It was about an hour long live stream. It was fairly interesting. We obviously went through the charts. We went through uh, and done some like question and answers. It was a really warm, wholesome live stream. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out over on the CC Pool YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, that's literally just called CC Pool, right? And you can check that out over on the live. I'll, I'll probably leave it in the description or the comments down below. So you can check it out on over on our second channel. This is where I'm going to start to upload, you know, videos like that, uh, more more wholesome videos, which are will be trading related at the end of the day, right? But you can check that out on that channel or over on the Twitch. It was uploaded to both. Um, and yeah, for me, that's going to be the wrap up. If you want to see more from me, I obviously done my Friday now. Um, you know, got they got the new coaches now. So for me, the Friday morning update was done by me myself. Igor's doing the uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays uh, of this week of the daily update. So the daily updates are still here. The Friday morning updates are still here. It's just different coaches now. And yeah, if you want to see myself, Igor, Severin, and Rivalry, well, you can get all of that via chartchampions.com. And of course, the Discord, where you're going to have active coaches channels throughout the day, all day, right? So yeah, that will be a wrap up for me. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you want to see more, you know where to get it over on the website. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And I will catch you uh, in the Discord via chartchampions.com or alternatively, maybe next week sometime for a free YouTube update. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And you know what to do. Hit that like button. <laughs> and I'll catch you over in the next video. I'll end, of course, actually with the important legal trade disclaimer, right? So no financial advice. Got to do your own research at the end of the day. Uh, that's all on you and paper demo trade accounts. Cheers, everybody. Goodbye.